Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I'm hooking up the spreader today, the fertilizer spreader. Uh, it is a four ton mobility spreader. I have it, I always pull it on the MX120. Uh, we always broadcast our nitrogen or 46 granular urea and uh, we uh, uh, work it in before seeding. So with the drill I have, which I'll explain on another video, which is just around there, uh, it, uh, we, what we used to use was an old double disc box drill. So we had to cultivate first and then seed, whereas that drill will do all in one. But it is not a no-till drill. Well, it is, but it isn't. It's still a tillage. But it's, uh, I guess you could call it a minimum tillage drill. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we bought this at an auction quite a few years ago, and it didn't look like that at all, but we uh, repainted it, and uh, I did some welding on it because it was rusty, and it's starting to get a little bit of rust again, because last year, uh, we didn't, I didn't uh, oil it down, which is a big no-no, but... That didn't look like that before, but I'll have to see. A little bit of rust there. You can see it's got the two spinners and the conveyor there. And yeah, uh, the thing that uh, I always had problems with is this chain falling off here. Uh, this is kind of a dumb design. I hate this design. I like the other uh, spreaders that where they had a handle and you used to put it down when you were ready to sp spread. You used to lift the handle up and there'd be a sprocket on the axle of the, ba of the back axle and it would run off the tire. Whereas this one, you crank it down and you get the friction drive from tire to tire. And this is a l it's not so much the shaft. Well, the shaft is wore out. And I think I should have uh, take that off and put a, a bushing in there. And uh, yeah, but it's, and I need to figure out a different uh, tightener on there. It's all maxed out all the way, but as you can see the chain fell off in the fall. Actually, no, I was doing that in the summer. I was spreading fertilizer on grass. So, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, when it was raining there, I was spreading on the pastures and all that. But uh, other than that, it's really, it's been really good for us. So I'm just going to finish hooking it up here.
So, uh, working on the spreader here, I had the, the windows open and the radio on. And remember, uh, I was uh, cleaning out the cab, got it all vacuumed and everything. Uh, I had the radio on because the Oilers are playing uh, Anaheim Ducks. And they really gave it to him, uh, so I was listening on the radio. Couldn't go watch it on TV, too much stuff to do. So, yeah, uh, I have to change oil yet, clean the filters, uh, clean the cab filters, uh, change the transmission filter, and give her a pressure wash. Always have that uh, junk from uh, processing uh, straw and stuff. So yeah, uh, I was also working on this shaft here. So what I did to get rid of some of the slop here, I uh, I put another two, took the old washer out and put another washer in. So now, well, this is just loose on this sliding shaft. So what you do when you get to the field, you tighten this one and you tighten this one right here, and this tightens it up. But the the sprocket on this shaft can't go side to side anymore but the shaft that was in here with the little sprocket and the tire which I took off it's right here I cleaned all the grease up I noticed there was uh, quite a bit of uh, slop in there and you have a bushing right here that's wore out and what it did was it kind of wore this shaft right here you can see it probably just, just a little groove there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a new bushing. And that will take care of probably 95% of the slop. Uh, it's still a little bit wore out there. But with the new bushing it should last for a long, long time yet. Because, you know, this thing only gets used for a week and a half, maybe two weeks max of the year. So it doesn't get too many hours put on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I still have to uh, soak her down with some diesel. Uh, it's all loose and everything, like the chain is running. It's supposed to come back this way. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to give her a good soak down with diesel. What I do is, uh, just like in my air drill, I use a uh, air compressor with a siphon hose and a jerry can of uh, diesel mixed with skidoo oil, two-stroke oil. So that's going to be all for now. Uh, yeah, we got, uh, I have a little bit of welding to do. Got a little bit of a crack here on the frame. Uh, one lonely farmer, Wes, had his out just recently, and I saw him and Tim were working on it. And uh, his has leaf springs, whereas this just does. It. This has a walking beam axle, and it actually has stops, so it can only go so far. It can't. It can't travel uh, too far. So, yeah, it's, I put this thing back away and it's, you know, I didn't get a chance to, uh, I didn't get a chance to clean it, which is a big, uh, like it's got salt, not salt, but uh, gravel, because it was, uh, I was in the pasture spreading the last of the nitrogen, I think I had three quarters full yet, so I decided to spread it out on the grass for the cows, so it would grow better there, which it did not too bad, uh, that's one of our worst pastures needs to be reseeded so it was raining like crazy so I spread it out there I even spread it a little bit on my lawn and uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that it was really nice and green and thick but holy man did it ever grow like you cut it one day and throw so yeah that's uh that'll be all for now tomorrow I'll put her back together get it all uh, washed up and she'll be ready to fly uh, as soon as Sean comes home uh, he's out working uh, with my brother on uh, on highway construction. They do we do surveying. That's our off farm job is uh, 
surveying for road construction so they're out making some pretty good money out there so that's gonna be what my brother Lori does all uh, summer long so uh, which is what I used to do until uh, my dad quit uh, well he got sick cancer so uh, and uh, he's 81 now so uh, I look after most of the stuff during the summer so me and Sean uh, Sean's just helping out Lori right now because he's a little bit short-handed so I've been here by myself uh, mainly feeding cows I've been doing it every day and uh, it's hard to keep up to him so I've been going every day it seems like all I'm doing is feeding cows and then whenever spare time I have left I work on uh, seeding stuff so yeah that'll be all for now uh, make sure you subscribe uh, leave your comments and uh, yeah that's that'll be all for now I'll see you guys later thanks for watching